one of the cards in this and i'm i'm not going to say which one yet is like perfect for one of my commander decks it has a nice flavorful feel for that commander uh there's a couple good relevant hits in here have they already hit us with the price joel i haven't seen a price that's what i'm looking for right now but with the set itself we are looking at a set that comes in this box, I guess. It's in this special box. Maybe this was just a presentation box for the IGN writer that received this. But we have two drops as part of this Secret Layer X Fortnite and Secret Layer, Layer X Fortnite landmarks and locations. So I'll go ahead and tell you, this X Fortnite has the cards in it. Landmarks and locations is your basic, basic lands secret layer. Looking at got what it. we've got though in these two layers, we'll start with the X Fortnite. This is just more presentation of how they came. These are your two layers, your X Fortnite's on the left and your your uh, landmarks and locations on the right. But Wrath of God, Shrinking Storm is Wrath of God. Nice little reprint of a commander relevant board wipe. Yeah, I like that it's Wrath of God and it's not Day of Judgment. I like that they went with Wrath. It's cool to get a reskin of Wrath and um yeah it looks pretty sweet it's this nice borderless version for me i'm just gonna tell you straight up already i'm only getting non foils of this if yeah. it's only available in foil i'll get it in that but the, this does not look foil um this looks good supply llama if you're familiar with fortnite supply llamas run around the map and if you can burn them down they're worth it if you can't burn them down you can they're not worth it but this is a reskin of ethereum sculptor Kind of an interesting choice for me for Supply Llama, making a Ethereum Sculper, which has all your artifact spells, cost one less, be Supply Llama. But, you know, I guess it kind of works. It gives you free stuff. We've got Dance of Many, which is Dance Battle. A two blue enchantment it says, when it enters the battlefield, create a token that's a copy of target non-token creature. When it leaves the battlefield, exile that token. When the token leaves the battlefield, sacrifice Dance Battle. And at the beginning of your upkeep, sack dance battle unless you pay two mana. So interesting reprint. I'm not actually I'm, super familiar with Dance of Many. I'm actually looking it up right now. Dance of Many. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, secondary market price of this card, if you were to go get a uh, a copy over on eBay, for example, Dance of Many has a fifth edition copy that's a dollar and forty cents. So it's not, not a very a, expensive one, not a very expensive card, but it is interesting. It has the, uh, the bear from Fortnite dancing on it. Yeah. It's a two mana, two mana clone. Like David's saying in chat, two mana clone that, you know, is completely reliant on the creature and enchantment being on the battlefield at the same time. And you have to pay a little two mana tax. I did see right. Jenks suggest that supply llama being a burnished heart would have been very cool. I don't know about the, uh, secondary market price of ethereum sculptor of ethereum sculptor let's Not look much. at this real fast yeah, yeah so 25 uh, cents so yeah that i'm almost yeah. as happy if that had just been burnished heart i do like supply llama being a possible burnished heart but we got ethereum sculptor let's look at battle bus being smuggler's copter if battle bus attacks or blocks you may draw a card and if you do discard a card it's a flying three three with a crew of one don't love this in edh I also don't love this as the flavor of the battle bus. This is not what the battle bus does. This is a, a supply, like this just drops people off. Right. Smuggler's Copter is about hitting, doing damage, drawing cards. I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe like, yeah, I don't know, flavor, as far as flavor goes, it doesn't make much sense. I, I would could prefer see it more as like, if it's a hanger back yeah. walker which is yeah, going to like a hanger back walker pop, Perfect. And pop and create bodies yeah. that are all onto the battlefield. I get that they fly, but you enter the, the, the Fortnite world flying off of an artifact. Yeah. Don't love the flavor. I'm completely with you there. Would have yeah, preferred that being so something like that. Right, right, right. Or even, um, what's the one that, uh, not Triskelion, but it, it split Pentavis. You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? Pentavis. Oh. Here we go. And there's about a field with five plus one plus one. Even this would have been better flavor, in my opinion. Where you yeah, can... not exactly the most exciting card, but no. yeah, I mean, Smuggler's Copter is a good card. Um, but yeah, this could have been this could have been something else that made more sense. I feel now this is the big one. 
yeah this is a big one i think the other big one is wrath of god but yeah. this one is pretty sweet it's a nice reskin of grim tutor this is the card i was talking about in the beginning where i was like there's a card in here that is such a flavor win for one of my decks and Karavik the Merciless being in like the luxury suite, having all of the expensive, uh, whatever, living this life of luxury, I think crack the vault as a grim tutor <laughs> is a fun inclusion in there. Definitely. Um, yeah, it looks really sweet and this is a neat reskin, a nice like modern feel to this card. This one feels like they knew they needed some sort of heavy hitter in here to, uh, to pull in the purchases uh definitely something that they could reprint and think about this you know what this is an interesting perspective that we should keep in box mind for grim tutor imagine if they had done this and this was the first reprint of grim tutor oh yeah the sales of this would be just off the charts you well, would have everybody who's like grim tutors a 250 dollar card they reprinted a 250 dollar right. card into this Fortnite secret lair. Battle Royale is the next one in the set. That is a reskin of Triumph of the Hordes. So until end of turn, all your creatures get plus one, plus one, trample and infect. It's cool to get uh, what is basically is a, a win reprint. condition card. Yeah, I mean, Triumph of the Horde is an uncommon that is up in the 12 to $15 range. So yep. having a reprint of, the, of this in a secret lair, very welcome. Oh yeah. And I mean, as far as a fun one, it's a sorcery, so you get to you get to haha -ha battle royale. It's my Fortnite triumph for the hordes, but also most players are going to be playing this when they're like eliminating a player. So I think it's a nice little like finishing move for uh, for whatever your commander deck is that tries to win with triumph for the hordes. I agree with you. This card is one hundred percent player removal. Even if you don't use it to right. get the kill shot on the game, you're definitely killing somebody with it. Exactly. And so. Uh, yeah, it's a really cool card. It's a fun reprint. It kind of uh, encapsulates what Fortnite is about, which is like a bunch of random characters running around shooting each other with shit. Yeah, very fun. Pretty sweet. Oh, also, yeah. Pretty sweet. Oh, look at that. So there are no actual guns in this art, with the exception of the rocket launcher. Very interesting. Bow and arrow, shield, axe uh hard to tell what this is that is probably the least Fortnite thing about this is no guns <laughs> no guns we've also got a reprint of planner bridge and if you remember i'm pretty sure planner bridge is just now being reprinted into 2xm2 which it is it's like a five dollar yep. card max i mean it is a cool looking art of it but it's not a card that i've ever really liked or run i know that in artifact builds super sick because you can pump it out early pay for its ability early with rocks but for me planner bridge is kind of a okay not so much of a like yeah dude i'm excited about this one i see chat is not excited about fortnite yeah overall saying 75 percent of the respondents are saying they're not going to buy this one well that brings us to our basic land set we got a planes here at a location that I'm sure is wildly iconic. I just don't know. Same thing with Shark Island. We've got some probably OG locations here. Swamp is much more of a forest looking car, but I can kind of see there's a pond there. And then mm -hmm. Montagna. Pretty cool versions of these. As far as value goes overall for this one to sort of answer, is it worth it? Because I doubt we'll do a separate video on this one at this point. Wrath of God. We've got five dollars of value on there yeah um ethereum sculptors basically nothing dance of many what'd you say on like that a dollar one? yeah it's like a dollar card. A dollar yeah. right and then you've got the smuggler's copter which at this point doubtful. it's banned in in stuff so it's like it doesn't have yeah less than a pioneer. dollar banned in pioneer you're right yep, yep. grim tutor is gonna be what like we just said more like 15 maybe. yeah so that maybe that one's even been 10 printed nicely down towards yeah 15 starting to work back up yeah. into the 16s and 17s and then yep. you got trying for the hordes which we saw in planner bridge which just isn't gonna get there so you know you got like 12 bucks on the 15 on the on the trying for the hordes 12 to 15 there so and then like like three or four bucks on the planner bridge right, right. yeah exactly or, but so. that that's gonna be in 2xm so you know yeah i mean now, it's gonna depend on what they're is, selling it for 
the question as well is what is the secret card in here that's going to be something that i'd be interested in we've just done this review and now it is worth noting we don't know but it is confirmed that there are secret cards in right. the secret layer like every secret layer right yeah exactly exactly okay. which we can kind of well, guess that's good but to know. yeah overall like we said fairly lackluster as far as the really hype reprint in there it's nice to see another grim tutor trying for the hordes wrath of god um the other ones are kind of misses and overall for me anyway jake you can tell me what you think but kind of a flavor miss it's gonna depend on the price point if this is boosted up to like 50 bucks definite no but if i can get the non-foil for 30 i'll probably go for it but i don't know if it's enough for me with just the the grim tutor and the wrath of god I don't know if I can if I can get there. It would be me buying this whole layer for the Grim Tutor for Karavik is yeah. essentially how I feel about it. So depending when we see the price, I guess viewer watching this, forty dollars. This is probably a nice little value. Fifty dollars starts pushing it, and uh, we'd love to see what the extra cards are. Pretty sure those will be set for these because with these licensed ones, they normally are. That's what we think of the. MTG Fortnite crossover secret layer. Let us know down in the comments what you think of it. I hope to see an MTG character make it over to Fortnite. It would be tight. I would hope that that Run happens. around with Liliana and a machine gun. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to do this collaboration, you know, do it right. And Chase with a pistol. Get a couple. <laughs> yeah, ex exactly. I mean, exactly. 